Hi guys, this is a shortened introduction to a little project I've just done, one of my granddad's junk pile projects, copying lid motors, wobbling needle motor. Uh, what we've actually got here is a needle through a lid, plastic lid. It's got four neodymium magnets where these lines are on the inside. This is actually a slight modification to the version you'll see in the full video because I've just soldered an ordinary nut onto the contact here so the needle can wobble around quite a bit in there. Then the circuit is round there. This is a nice thick copper wire that I've wound into a coil. That's our electromagnet. And then from the centre of the coil we've got a wire that comes to the battery. Through the battery, through this on-off switch, which is a push button, momentary on-off. And then under there to the other end of the needle. There's actually a screw, a screw there that's screwed into the wood and the wire's wrapped around it. So the needle sits in the top of that screw. So that's our pivot point or bearing. And what happens is we put the current through there. As with any pulse motor, the electromagnet repels the magnets on the lid so they spin it round, but because it wobbles around, as soon as it moves, it breaks contact. So the magnetism stops, so that allows the next magnet to come round, get in position. By that time, the needle will have made contact again. So the electromagnet is charged again and pushes the next permanent magnet out of the way. And if we're lucky, it makes a continuous pulse motor. If we're unlucky, it just goes backwards and forwards a bit. So let's try our luck. I'll just switch it on. And there we go. I don't know if you can hear it rattling. It's not as good as lid motors. Lid motors spent a bit of time there and actually got it balanced just right. You can see that's just gone out of balance now. Oh, it's back again, go in. Yeah, struggling a bit. You can have a look at my full video, which is a rather long video because I go through the full build process. Or you can have a look at lid motors where it works properly. There we go in again now. So that's the circuit there is controlled or pulsed by the fact that the needle is rocking around inside what I've got there, which is a nut. And if you look very carefully, you'll see some sparks there where it's making and breaking contact. But that's as far as I'm going. Have a look in the video description for the useful links.